right guys, just going to show you a quick video on Linked Helper and what it can do. <clears throat> Sorry if the screen is slightly too small, um, but I'm recording this from a remote desktop. Um, so LinkedIn Helper is a Google Chrome extension, which you can see is always added there when you get your LinkedIn Helper, but it always sits in the bottom right hand side of your LinkedIn account as well. So you basically just click that and it'll open up, which gives you this kind of little interface which allows you to do your job. So I'm just going to talk you through the settings first of all. Um, so page one basically allows you to invite second and third connections. For this to happen, um, what you need to do is collect those connections. So you don't really need to do anything other than click to collect and just go to general LinkedIn search. If you're a sales navigator guy, then you can use that as well. And <coughs> basically what will happen is it'll bring up this page. So you just click, click collect again. And what this does is automatically, without me touching any buttons, go through that and collect all of those connections. So you just let that run you know, for five, ten minutes or whatever. And it will collect X amount of connections for you very quickly. So you can see that's collected probably about 30 just now. <coughs> and that speed of time, you can then stop collecting. It stores it in to an inbuilt database and then you click invite. And what will happen is the tool will then go and invite all of these people. Now I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to connect to all of those people. Um, but the tool would then just proceed automatically connect to people, job done. Um, now the same process really happens for every other one of the tools. So if I wanted to message all my first connections, I could collect them all and then send them all a message. Page two allows you to view people's profiles. So you can collect people based on a search term. So for example, if I wanted to look at all the kind of SEO agencies in London, then I can stick that in, I just click people and you see that there's 32,662 people so I can pretty much press collect and that will go through all of those people, collect all their information and then I can click. Once I've finished that, click stop, click visit and it will, you know, it will start viewing all of their, pro their profiles and what will happen is they'll automatically look at back, back at me hopefully, and it kind of builds up my profile views. You can endorse people using the same kind of search. So again, if I wanted to uh, endorse people in the SEO ag agencies in London market, then collect and then endorse. And when you tend to endorse, people will reciprocate that. And <coughs> you can build up your endorsements doing that. Three, you can just extract profiles and build lists. So you can collect people and then extract their profile information for whatever reason you may want to do that, for marketing, spamming, whatever you want to do. Obviously it's not advisable to spam people, but it's scraping their information for you and you can use that wisely. You can also invite people to groups. So again, you can collect their information, whether it was SEO agencies in London, collect all of those people and then invite them to join a group. A little bit spammy that, so I'm not sure I would go ahead with that, um, but that's entirely up to you. Page four, you can add signature to your manual messages. So when you connect with people, you get the high, you know, the, the kind of standard thing on LinkedIn. You can basically add your own signature on here. Like, I'm interested in connecting with like-minded people in my industry, blah, 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 blah. Keep it a bit more personalized and click save. And what will happen is every time you connect with someone, it will send that email signature, eh, that message to them as well. And that's quite a, an important part if you want to kind of personalize your connection outreach. Now you can automatically just connect to all sets, eh, second connections from search. Simply click that button and it will do it for you. You can automatically follow people, again, collect and follow. 
and <coughs> that's entirely up to yourself whether you like to follow people or not. Um, always wise to follow certain people, influencers and stuff, but just bear in mind that their information will come up in your profile feed. And uh, if you connect with every Tom, Dick and Harry, then you're likely to see a whole lot of garbage on there. So again, use that if you need to, but personally I wouldn't. Um, message to recently added connections. So you can send an, a message to everyone who's recently connected to you and just introduce yourself or whatever you may want to do um, to generate conversation. So that is quite a cool feature. Just click that. And then you need to go in and, and sort out your message template first and foremost and uh, put out the message that you want to send to your recently added connections. Um, and there you go. So you can click on that. You just need to click on your license. Sorry about this. Um, my license has been connectively activated. Message to recently had the connection, so I'm clicking on this. I think there's a bug on this. Don't know why this isn't working. Not so sure why that's not working just now. Um, but you'd have to ask the guys at like Helper. I'm sure that little bug will be sorted, but you can basically put your message into your templates there and it will allow you to message recently had the connections and you can um, get good results from doing that. You can send in mails to your second and third contacts as well. Um, again, by collecting and then sending if you want to exhaust your in-mails rather than just sitting and paying for them and not getting to use them. And you can extract company data here as well. So if you want to use the kind of LinkedIn search functionality to extract data and do as you please with it, then this is the option to do that. And finally, they have added the connections remover. So if I want to get away from, you know, when I set mine up, I used to allow my tool to automatically let me add every person out there and just to I didn't realize there was a 30,000 connection limit on there and uh, now I can go through and stick in recruiters for example because um, I don't really have any real reason to be talking to recruitment people so you'll see if I click on people and then click first connections. I've actually got something ridiculous like 4,000, yeah, 4,600 recruiters, which is absolutely garbage. So I can just click, so I can collect them and then remove them all because they're not going to do business with me. A recruitment consultant is unlikely to do business with me. So that would be how I would kind of refine my connection list and rinse and repeat as per whatever search I want to do. So. Um, that is what LinkedIn Helper does for you. Great little tool and I would highly recommend it to anyone. The cost of it is really cheap and it is just, it, it does a lot of the grunt work for you. So good luck with it and um, use it to your advantage.